Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare, Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 Rama, Hare, Rama, 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 Hare,
Let's all sing together one voice. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare. Again, one more. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare Hare Rama, Hare Rama. Time on to the air. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama. Hare Krishna, dear devotees, please accept our humble obeisances. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. We are very fortunate this morning to, well, it's morning our time here, seven o'clock, to have His Holiness Chandramari Swami 
being kind and merciful enough to give us class on Chaitanya Charitamrita. It's in Adi Lila chapter one, chapter one, text 65 and 66. And as you know, earlier in the week, uh, Madame Sia was not around because she was not feeling well. She's slowly recovering. But uh, this is the reason I'm filling in for, for her. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. Oh, God, she will Oh, God, she will speak. Thank you for getting on. And it's all yours. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Hare Lila, chapter 1, 65 and 66. And then we go all the way up to 68, I think. Mm -hmm. Yes, Maharaj. Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya Gaur Bhakta Rinda Ishvarele Avatara Vatina Prakar Amsavatara Araguna Avatar Shakta Vaishavatar Tritiya Imata Amsavatara Purusha Machadikayata Translation. There are three categories of incarnations of Godhead. Partial incarnations, qualitative, qualitative incarnations, and empowered incarnations. Purushas and Machyas are examples of partial incarnations. Bama Vishnu Shivatina Guva Tara Gane Shakta Vesha Sadakari Pritu Vyasa Muni Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva are qualitative incarnations. Empowered incarnations are of those like the Kumaras, Kimpritu and Mahamuni Vyas, the compiler of the Vedas. Durupi Han Haya Bhagavanera Prakash Ekate Prakasha Hoya Bharatal Vilasa the personality of Godhead exhibits himself in two kinds of forms, Prakash and Vilash. Mm -hmm. Report. The Supreme Lord expands his personal forms in two different categories. Prakash forms are manifested by Lord Krishna for his pastimes and their features are exactly like his. When Lord Krishna married 16,000 queens in Dwarka, he did so in 16,000 Prakash expansions. Similar, during the Rasa dance, he expanded himself in identical Prakash forms to dance beside each and every gopi simultaneously. When the Lord manifests his Vilas expansions, however, they are all, they are all somewhat different in their bodily features. Lord Balaram is the first Vilash expansion of Lord Krishna, and the four-handed Narayan forms in Vaikanta Kaikunta expand from Lord Balaram. There is no difference between the bodily forms of Sri Krishna and Balaram, except their bodily colors are different. Similarly, Sri Narayan in Vaikunta has four hymns, where Krishna has only two. Expansions of the Lord who manifest such bodily differences are known as Vilash Vigrahas, Omagam, Timaranda, Syam, Gina, Jana, Salakaya, Jaksun, Militam, Yenatas, My Shri, Guru Vena Maha, Nama Om Vishnu, Padaya, Krishna, Prasthaya, Bhutale, Sri Makti Bhakti Vedanta Swami, Tinamari Namaste, Saraswati Deve, Gauravani Pracharine. Here we say Sasunya Vari Pastyatyare Satarine, Panchakalpa Tarubis Chakri Pasindu Paeva Chapatitanam Bhavane Bhyo, Vaishnavebhyo Namaho Namaha, Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Anit Dvaita Gadafar, Sri Vasari Gaur, Bhakta Vindam, 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna. Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama Rama, Hari Hari. So this is a very uh, intricate, complex, detailed, and very interesting topic. The different manifestations and categories of the Lord's expansions. Everything is exactly manifested according to the whole Lord's transcendental design. And each of the categories has certain characteristics distinct from other categories. As is mentioned here, there are three forms of the Lord uh, expansions. There is his personal expansions, his qualitative expansions, and his empowered expansions. We hear here the qualitative expansions are, actually there are many, but the essence of those are the uh, Leela avatars, such as Madhya Korma, Raha Nishringa. The 10 Das avatars as given by um, Jayadeva Goswami in his one bhajan on the test of Tenda avatars. And there are other forms of the Lord. These are Leela avatars. There is also Guna avatars, which are qualitative avatars such as Shiva, Brahma, like that, Vishnu. Um, there are the uh, Manvantara avatars who come at the different times during the creation. They are a little lesser. They don't exhibit the full potency of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, but they're actually his expansion. And sometimes they're known as the expansions of the expansions. They're called Kala and uh, Kala expansions and uh, partial expansions of the expansions also. They're also called Kala in different categories. So it gets quite complex. If you would like to really understand this subject matter in detail, it is nicely explained in the Chaitanya Charitamrita in chapter 20 of Madhya Leela. Lord Chaitanya instructs Sanatana Goswami starting with verse number 165 where the Lord is explaining that the personality of Godhead exists in three principal forms, Swayam Rupa, Tadekatma Rupa, and Avesh Rupa. And then you have the different categories within those categories. You have Prabhava, Prabhava, Prakash and Prabhava Vilash. And then you have the Swamsa and the Vivedamsa manifestations. Swamsas are the personal forms of the Lord of Vivedamsas are the living entities in the material world. We are also given the title as being expansions of the Lord in his, what we say, uh, manifestation as the spiritual energy of the Lord, but non-different from the Lord at the same time. These are called Vivedamsa and they are numerous. And so you get the different manifestations of the Lord's appearance. As is mentioned here in his Prakash forms, he expands in, to 16,000 forms in order to associate with and to perform activities with his 16,108 queens in Dwarka, the Dwarka of expansions. When Narada Muni went into the Dwarka to see the Lord, he went into one particular place and the Lord was there with Rukmini. When she was fanning him, the Lord immediately stopped, welcomed Narada Muni and worshipped him in so many nice ways. After Narada Muni, it's a long discussion of the interaction that happened between Narada and the Lord. But then Narada went on to another palace and he saw the Lord there again in, with another queen doing a particular different activity, completely different activity. And this was happening in 16,108 palaces. The Lord was there and each one of the palaces was doing something different. And uh, when he wanted to 
manifest himself in public, then all of the forms would simultaneously leave the palace and merge into one form. And then he would go to the assembly hall to meet with all of the residents of Dwarka for various administration discussions. So those 16,108 forms became one when the Lord left the palaces. But when he was with his queens, in order to satisfy each and every queen, he presented himself as himself in his two-handed two form as Krishna. He did the same thing when he was in Vrindavan. He manifested himself in, manif in so many numerous forms of himself to dance with the gopis in the rasa dance. These are called Swayam Fakash forms. There are the top forms of the Lord. And then you have the Narayan forms in his Vaikuntha expansion, the forehand Narayan forms. There are 24 principal forehand Narayan forms, uh, which hold different symbols in different positions. And you have four symbols, and then there are, they are manifested in 24 different positions within the hands of the Lord. But there are also numerous four-handed Narayan forms. These are just the main ones like that. <laughs> so it gets very, and then you see when Krishna wanted to bewilder Lord Brahma after Lord Brahma tried to bewilder Krishna when he stole the cowherd calves and cowherd boys. The Lord expanded himself into each and every form of the boys and the calves exactly all the way down to the inner idiosyncrasies, the actual personality characteristics of each and every boy and each and every calf. Um, these are called I believe Swayam Bilash, not forms of the Lord. They are non different from the Lord, but they don't manifest themselves exactly as the Lord, as he did in the Rasa dance when he expanded himself exactly as he was to perform different activities. This time he's taking the form of the living entities, and in those expansions, he performs his activities also. So the Lord had Advaitam, Machutam, Anadi, Ananta, Rupa, Madhyam, Purusha, and Purusha, and Nava, Yogunam, Cha, Vedesha, Durlav, Ava, Durlam, Atma, Bhakto, Govinda, Madhi, Purusham, Tamaham, Bajami. As the waves and the rivers are unlimitedly crashing against the beach, if you stand on the ocean and you simply watch, you can stay there your whole life and you'll simply see one wave after another coming in so in the same way they use this example to somehow give a little indication of the amount of incarnations of the lord they are unlimited they are unlimited no one can count the incarnations of the lord but the different categories are given for the sake of understanding in the Srimad Bhagavatam, in the third chapter of the first canto, you have the different principal expansions of the Lord in his different leelas. Mostly there are personal expansions. Now, when you see um, a yogi, such as Subari Muni, or uh, who else, uh, Durvasa Muni, they can expand themselves also within themselves, but they cannot do different things. They, they become what is called exact expansions of themselves. It's more like if you were to put 10 televisions in one place or in different places and you turned on the same channel, you would see the same thing. So the expansions of the living beings who are empowered, such as the yogis, they can also expand themselves into forms of themselves, but each of the forms is doing the exact same thing in different places. Well, the living entity also has that power in a very limited way. But the Lord can perform so many activities and so many manifestations of himself. Things are very technical. And when you read 
all I can say is read the uh, 20th chapter. Lord Chaitanya instructs Sanatha Goswami and Madhya Lila. It'll take you on a very intricate and interesting explanation of the different forms of the Lord as manifested by the Lord in his different incarnations. And there are six principal incarnations or categories of incarnations. You have moon avatars, you have Leela avatars, you have uh, Manvata, Manvan, Mana avatars, you have Shaktivesh avatars, which are empowered incarnations of the Lord, such as Srila Prabhupada, he is a Shaktivesh avatar. Lord Jesus Christ is also Shaktivesh avatar. Empowered manifestations of the Lord who come in order to do the work of the Lord. Some are direct and some are indirect. And then you have what is else? You have the um, uh, you have Leela avatars, Gun avatars, Manvantar avatars. You have the um, what is it called? Those avatars that expand the creation, such as Maha Vishnu and Garbhadaksai Vishnu, Shirodaksai Vishnu. And of course, uh, these are all what we call, these are called the, the, the incarnations for the purpose of creation. Uh, then you have within the, the categories of the spiritual expansions, you have Lord Balaram and the Ryan manifestations. And then the Chatur Vyuha, four, in, four aspects of the Narayana manifestation, the Chatur Vyuha manifestation. It's very complex, very interesting, very nicely categorized and very, ni and very nicely explained by Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu himself. So this knowledge is not something just it's there because it's there. We should learn it. We should read it. We should study it and find out more of the uh, of the different manifestations of the Lord as he appears in his different incarnations. And one of the principal thing is all of the incarnations have the supreme power of the Lord but they don't manifest that power. Um, according to the particular mission of a particular incarnation or avatar, they manifest that power in order to accomplish their, that uh, mission that they're on. But all of the incarnations of the Lord are fully empowered with all the energies of the Lord but they don't exhibit it. Only Krishna, when he comes to the material world, he performs his incarnation as the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is not an incarnation anymore. He is the Supreme Source of all incarnation. He is Swayam Bhagavan. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is also Swayam Bhagavan. He manifests himself as the energy of the Lord in the mood of the energy of the Lord Radharani, but he is Krishna himself. He is a direct expansion of the, um, he is not an expansion, he is the manifestation of all incarnations also. So you have Krishna and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, two-handed forms of the Lord who perform activities in the material world as these activities are also manifested in the spiritual world. They bring these activities down to the material world to give pleasure to the devotees in the material world, especially his eternal associates, the Vrindavan buses like that. So, um, yeah, you'll get a little into Oh, you also have the Purushottam avatars. And you have so many different categories of six principal categories and then divided into so many subcategories within those six principles. So the different pastimes of the Lord, you'll see how he manifests his himself as himself or in the form 
of himself that is apparently different from himself, like that. God is all powerful and therefore he can manifest himself. He can even change himself into an ordinary living entity and look like just like one of us in the material world. He is all, all powerful. And then you have pastime expansions, and then you have personal expansions, Prabhava, uh, Vaibhava, and then in the Chaitanya Charitamrita, mm. chapter 20 of Madhya Lila, everything is not only categorized, but each of the categories is explained in detail. Okay. So the Lord is all powerful. Okay, and so that's a little bit about the manifestations of the incarnations of the Lord. Uh, we should take advantage of the knowledge that has been given to us. Because the more we learn about the Lord, the more we become attracted to the Lord, the more we become attracted to the Lord, the more we become attached to the Lord, the more we become attached to the Lord, and then our Krishna consciousness is uh, perfect. The idea is to become attached to the Lord in devotion. Okay. Any comments or questions? Thank you very much, Maharaj, for a very nice lecture, concise to the point. The <clears throat> the um, reference that you gave to Tanya Magia, chapter 20, text 165 and on, right? I think that's what... Correct. Yeah. Onward. Before yeah. then, there is some discussion, but um, from verse 165, Lord Chaitanya goes on, and it goes on for at least 300 verses in this chapter. Oh, wow. this, cha this chapter goes to... I'll give you the exact amount of verses in this chapter. Actually, there's 406 verses in this chapter. Mm. So it's up. To, it's one of the longer chapters. Plenty of reading. It's okay. Wonderful. Thank you very much for the reference, and thank you very much for the whole lecture. Um, the Lord is extensive enough <laughs> describing it. Uh, there's no end. So unlimited, obviously, is very appropriate. To describe Sri Krishna. Yeah. What's mentioned in the Shastras is only just the principal incarnations and manifestations in the different categories, but within those categories, there are unlimited other mm. manifestations. <clears throat> so there's Prakash forms, which are the Lord Himself and expansions the same, similar, the same identical features as Krishna. Mm -hmm. And then yes. there's the, the last, which is also Krishna, but in a different form or color or whatever that's mm -hmm. we're describing there's, in general. There's Vaibhava Vilas and Vaibhava Prakash also. So oh. There's a, yeah, I think Lord Balaram is considered to be, let me give you that exact, well, it's mentioned here. In that, I think it's on 68. Well, I have a, yeah, it's still on the page. Lord Balaram is the first be last expansion. Yeah. If you want, yeah. yeah. It's in the middle of it, probably. Yeah. He's a, uh, there's then an uh, example of when he when he becomes the son of Devaki, he is by Baba Prakash. He has four hands. Mm. When he's two-handed, he's called Vaibhava Prakash. And when he's four-handed, he's called Prabhava Prakash. I'm sorry. Two-handed is Vaibhava Prakash, and four-handed is Prabhava Prakash. Mm. Four-handed is Prabhava Prakash. Yeah. Prakash. Mm. Mm. That's what he started with, and then 
uh, David K. Ashton to come to the regular <laughs> form. Yeah, well, he expanded in, in two places. One is yeah. one is the son of David K. and one is the son of Yasoda. Mm. One with two hands and one with four hands. Anybody, if you have questions, takeaways, comments, please uh, bring them up for my eyes and lighten us some more. Um, so I, I see Sri Devi Mataji's hand up. So Sri Devi, guy, Hare Krishna. So please go ahead. Unmute yourself, Sri Devi Mataji. Okay. Uh, we don't hear you yet. Don't glory to Prabhupada, don't glory to you, Guru Maharaj. Uh, I have a question about a slightly different form of the Lord as Shantigram Shila. Where would we have more information about um, this particular pastime with Tulsi and uh, Tulsi Shaligram Vivaha? I, I have been asked to speak on it and I don't know exactly where to read it from. Mm -hmm. uh, that particular pastime? Yes, Guru Maharaj. Mm -hmm. um, in the Tulsi book, there's one particular book um, on Tulsi, Davy. Uh, that pastime is there. Wait a minute. Let me, my library is right here. I'll be right back. I'll, I'll, I'll okay. I can find them. How are you doing, Parishad Prabhu? You're on mute. Yeah, you're right. I'm doing okay. How are you? I'm okay. You don't seem your usual self today. That's why I'm asking. Oh, okay. Well, we were down at the look at this, this flu thing going around you. So I am at the tail end of I'm at the tail end of mine, but I feel a lot better than a few days back. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, yeah. I you get well soon and the rest of the family also gets well soon. Yeah, yeah. The children have already been two days. Now they are we the adults are going through the house. Oh. That's the way it goes. You know. So. Yeah, the flu season is on and we've got to be careful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You and look well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm trying to get well. <laughs> That's the material world. <laughs> yes, something or the other. <laughs> yeah. All right. This is so you're going to be speaking about Tulsi. Yes. Today is uh, here, at least in Slovenia, it's the last day of Karthik month. And uh, Tulsi and Shaligram Vivaha, and uh, you know, the last day of Bhishma Panchaka, they've asked me to mm -hmm. speak about it. And I was thinking, I don't remember reading it anywhere in Srimad Bhagavatam or. Chaitanya Charitamrit. So I was, and of course, I scoured the net and I came across a few things, but it's nice to have one nice authentic source, you know? Mm. You know for sure what you're speaking is, um, you know, authentic. Yeah. People sometimes, some people like detail. So mm -hmm. if you like that, then yeah, it's pretty good. I see that Mansi and Diptesh uh, posted. Uh, They're also on. Yeah. yeah. They want to ask a question. Now, I haven't called the name because Maharaj will have to answer the question unless they're making a comment. Comment, it's all right, Mansi and Diptesh. If, if you want to make a comment, but if you have a question for Maharaj, then it may have to be that when he comes back, then you can ask. Yes. Uh, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Yeah, uh, Mataji, yeah. uh, I have just sent a link, which also I was also uh, uh, very curious uh, about the story, and I came with this link. It's on Prabhu Padwani, and it's got a very nice narration of the whole pastime from Shankachuda and Tulsi Devi and Shaligram Sila. So that 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 narration would really help if for your preparation. Mm. Thank you. Good. So Maharaj Good. Is back. Yeah, I think what you yeah. 
Was that uh, who was just speaking now? Yeah. Uh, man, was it Diptesh? It is Diptesh. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Yeah, Diptesh. Oh, fine. Good, good. Yeah, I think that's all you need there, uh, Sri Devi. Yes, Guru Maharaj. Thank you so much. Thank you, Diptesh Prabhu. Okay. And he said Prabhupada Bani. If you go to Prabhupada Bani and then search, maybe pass down yeah, to us yeah. again. That's it's available in different sources. I have a, a book which has the whole pastime in it, but I think maybe it's in my other library. It's not here. So. Mm -hmm. okay. Any other questions or comments? Or the Lord and his different incarnations? Mm -hmm. Or any questions in general, I guess. Hare Krishna Maharaj, please accept my humble obeisances. All glory to Srila Prabhupada. Um, Maharaj, Maharaj, thank you for this uh, wonderful verse. This, uh, this technicalities of different expansions, have, especially Prabhav and Vilas, and then the subcategories have always confused me. Um, so I'll try to make another go of it. But um, Maharaj, <laughs> I have... <laughs> If you're not confused, then you are really on a higher spiritual level because <laughs> it's so <laughs> it's so detailed. <laughs> um, yeah, it's just it's if you, all you need to do is really read and study that twentieth chapter. I think and you got it all right there. Yes, Maharaj. Maharaj, I right. have a I have a specific question here. So. Like it says in the Brahma Samhita that the subs, you know, the one candle is the source of the other candles, but you know, the other candles still have the same potency, but the source is candle number one or the original candle, which is Krishna. So when these different expansions of the Lord in these different categories, they manifest, do they have the same potency and power? Now, I do know that we say that, you know, Lord Krishna possesses all the qualities, you know, 64 in full, and then we have uh, Vishnu Tattvas and then, you know, so, and, and then Jiva Tattvas. But all these other expansions that are there, uh, do they possess all the potencies of the Lord? And is it the well, case that they choose not to exhibit those full potencies? Yeah, that's what Prabhupada said. And I clearly remember him saying it in a lecture I had recently heard. Yeah, and using that candle expansion. But you'll find one, there is one consideration is that Krishna and Vrindavan has four unique qualities that's mentioned in the, surrounded by his loving disciple. He plays on the flute, his amazing pastimes and his transcendental form are unique to Krishna. These are the four category, four particular qualities that is exclusively in the form of Krishna. But as far as manifestations of power, they all are equally powerful. <laughs> but they don't exhibit it. Yes, yes. Okay, now this clarifies. Thank you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ishwar Parma Krishna Satchit Ananda Vigraha Nadir Adi Govinda Sarva Karna Karni. Thank you, Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Study that chapter. Is it Shopanishad? Oh, it's chapter 20. 20, yes. 20, yes. I studied it many times, Maharaj, but sometimes it is contradicting or maybe my intelligence because sometimes when it says subdivisions of Prakash and then they interlink with Vilas as well. So it is, uh, for me, it was very confusing. Uh, so I will have another. <laughs> <laughs> I have multiple papers that I was drawing down because I come from um, engineering background. So I was like do, doing it methodically, you know, methodically trying to link it, but I still got confused. So if you, want, if you want to clarify the whole thing, you make a graph. <laughs> you have to graph it. When you graph <laughs> it, you can, you, can, you can use the graph and you can see how how the different manifestations lead to other forms of manifestations. Like a flow chart. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
make a you. graph. Yes, Maharaj. I think the, the graph is, uh, I understand because there are so many nice uh, diagrams that the devotees have done on the expansions, but when they go into the terminology of Prakash and Vilas, that's where I get confused. But anyway, I, I will uh, again, Maharaj, have another go at chapter 20. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, through your blessings, I can understand it better now, hopefully. Okay. Let me know. Maybe you can write a book on it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so, we, so that we can understand more. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Today, Master Jesus is founded for the self surpassed time. So that's good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So are there any other comments? Questions? There's a couple of things in the chat. Okay, that's we've talked about that already. Mm. Um Shripa, Maharaj, you mentioned Shripa when you were talking about Shaktivesh avatars. Could you expand a little more on, on that? Just add more comments to it? Because I heard your god brother Balbadra Prabhu. The first time I heard anyone put Sri yeah. Prabhupada in the category of Shaktivesh avatar. Shaktivesh avatars are two. One that is coming directly from the spiritual world to do the work of the Lord in the material world. And those who become empowered by the Lord through their own spiritual practice in the material world. So one is called direct and one is called indirect. So Srila Prabhupada was a direct. He was sent from the spiritual world. Jesus Christ is also a direct. You might also go into other categories of saints throughout the history of the existence, not only in the Vedic explanations, but into other spiritual and religious practices. These, some of these are empowered incarnations of the Lord who are less direct, not direct, but in, indirect. But that's the, essentially the two, like that. Mm. One who qualifies themselves by their practice and one who's already empowered and coming on behalf of the Lord. Thank you very much. Yeah. yeah. Any comments? Any more comments? Any more questions? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, Guru Maharaj. Please accept my humble obeisances. Dandavat Pranam. All glories to Srila Prabhupada. Mm -hmm. Is it audible? Yes. We can hear you. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to ask that uh, while chanting, um, I hear some voices very loud and the uh, words are very, very clear. What What is that thing, that uh, that voice and uh, how to go about it? Like, I have no idea, but mostly when I'm chanting, I hear so uh, many voices. Yeah, yeah, Prabhupada used to say that too when people would say that to him. He said, just, um, just forget about it. <laughs> just listen to the holy name. <laughs> you don't know where those voices are coming from. Could be from the mind. Could be from some living entities hanging around. <laughs> it's usually from the mind, that's all. I don't know. I, you know, I, I mean, all I can say is when Prabhupada was Opposite, oh, just don't listen to them, just keep chanting. That's all. <laughs> Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you so much. Yeah, don't worry about them. <laughs> You're chanting and hearing is the process. You just keep yourself focused on that. <laughs> It'll go away mm -hmm. after a while. <laughs> You want them to go away? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what to answer. 
<laughs> I don't either. <laughs> this is the age of Colleen. There's all kinds of voices everywhere. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, your name is Martin. You, your hand is still up. Did you want to follow up? Uh, yes, I have one more question if you don't okay. mind. Please. Go ahead, please. Uh, Guru Maharaj, on this subject of the forms of the Lord, if I may only request to know which are the forms of the Lord that we can readily worship without uh worrying about offenses or installation and so on and which are the forms that we should not um uh, worship without permission of the spiritual master and without installation like that well you should get even lord chaitanya doesn't accept offenses or nityananda lord chaitanya but then again, getting permission is also required for, for installing deities in your home and beginning worship. Lord Chaitanya doesn't accept offenses. Deity of Prabhupada, you can always have a deity of Prabhupada, you don't need permission for that. But for the For any of the forms of the Lord, if you're going to put the deity in your home, you should always get permission from the from the spiritual master. Yes, Thank good. You. I understand that for devotees, it's always best to get uh, the permission and blessings of the spiritual master. But what what about Sunday fees? Yes, they come to the temple and they like certain, you know, they like Gorditai or they like to um, take some deity home. And they say, well, I, I want that. Well, and we sell these little deities of uh, the kind of like porcelain deities you can put on your mm -hmm. altar, Gorditai, like that, Nishringadev. I mean, there are forms of the Lord there. That's, I think they sell them in the stores. And yeah, they can do simple worship. Like that. Offer some incense, some flour, some water. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. So, Marge, what I'm hearing you saying is if you buy some of these maybe bigger ones, slightly bigger ones in the store, then you can contact the spiritual master if you want to install them. Regular deities, yeah. Okay. Regular brass deities or like that. And if you have the, they, now they're making these little tiny deities that are just like maybe two inches too high, high like that. Mm. People put them on their altar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Those, those you don't really need to wor uh, do regular worship for. For installation. Just keep them there. Mm. Okay. Any other comments, questions? Marge, if you have no more questions, we'd like to thank you very much. But one last request, if you'd like to take us to one round the Japa, it's up to you. Yeah, we got time today. We got okay. at least another 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, we can go for one round of Japa. Thank least. you very much. Thank you, Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hey. Okay. Okay. So.
change the water to take, take the water and put it here inside here. Just pour it in there. And then you'll see spouted container there. And we have a spouted, spouted. You see the spouters, you know the spout and also yeah. Put the water in there and not there. This is a one uh, one minute Richard, I'll be right with you. Okay. Here, here. All right, I guess we're ready. Jai Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Gadadara Sivasri Gaur Bhakta Rindam Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Yes, Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna Hare Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. 
I I Uh, Shrimati, are you there? Hare Krishna, Guru Please accept my humble obeisance. Sal Krishna, Shri Prabhupada. Tomorrow's program is uh, it's a program from Leicester, UK, and it starts at 10 a.m. UK time. It's good night. It's a little early for the New Year, for the for the uh, USA people, but if it's you want to make it, it's uh, and they're going to send me the uh, link. Mm -hmm. It's a question and answer program, so any devotees who want to join in, it's mostly they're asking me questions and I'm answering them on spiritual topics. So that starts at 10 a.m. UK time, and I guess that would be. Yeah, that's right. like five five o'clock. Yeah. Or four o'clock your time, right? Four o'clock. <laughs> yeah, four o'clock. Well, you know, you can just yeah. wake up at two, chant your rounds from two to four. <laughs> and... <laughs> <laughs> it's good as we'll try. You want to get up a little later, you can get up at 3.30. <laughs> Okay. Uh, Guru Maharaj, will you send me the link, Guru Maharaj? Yeah, I'll check my email now. Mm, yes, the link should be there. Let me see. If it's not, if I don't send it immediate, I'll send it by the end of the day for sure. So uh, are you, will you be able to do the uh, regular uh, Zoom call uh, uh, to, uh, tomorrow, Guru Maharaj, at 4 p.m. No, can... mm, oh. oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess 4 p.m. UK time, the regular one. Yes, Let's see, that's tomorrow is Saturday. Yes, good Maharaj. Uh, yeah, I got a program in the Zagreb Temple tomorrow evening. Okay. And I think it starts at five o'clock. So. Okay, sure. Good. I'll, um, I'll, uh, let you, I'll call you for sure, let you know once I get all the details. Sure, good Maharaj. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Devotees thank you very much. from Harrisburg. Thank, thank you, you, Maharaj, very much for giving us your time. This morning, it's morning to us here. Um, yeah. We're not much later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, thank at, you. We're, we're at lunchtime here. <laughs> yeah. And thank you, devotees, for also coming on.